I have to go back into the memory bank. I was born in Providence, Rhode Island. I went to Cranston High School East, and I played hockey, ice hockey, and baseball. I majored in accounting as an undergrad, and I also got my master's in business administration from the University of Rhode Island. Um, you asked me who I played for, and I played for various people that were influential in my life. It started way back when with American Legion Ball, when I played for two brothers by the name of Tony and Peter DBase, and uh, they were instrumental in um, teaching me the discipline side of baseball and and uh, the energy side of baseball in terms of you know staying with it and, and working hard and never giving in and, and developing that champions mentality. Um, in college I played for a guy by the name of Dave Morris who I will always be in debt to. Uh, he had enough faith in me to start me day one as a freshman at shortstop. Um, and I later, earlier in my, in my college career, I actually went to the University of Connecticut for one semester and I played for a guy by the name of Andy Baylock, who is a legendary coach at the University of Connecticut. He's retired now. Um, Andy not only helped me as a player and guided me when I transferred to URI, uh, but he also helped me when I started my coaching career and gave me a lot of uh, support and guidance um, to help me get started in the profession. Coached for 13 years at the University of Rhode Island before I got here, and uh, you know it was sort of a, a tale of two careers. Uh, when I started, I was 23 as the head coach at URI, and um, you know the program was in sort of disarray when I took over, and just tried to work as hard as we could to just salvage what was there and just keep the program afloat, quite honestly. And then eventually uh, built it into a powerhouse in the Atlantic 10 Conference, and it still is to this day. Um, and just just tried to tried to get the program pointing in the right direction. A lot of pride and, and, and a lot of hard work, a lot of long hours to get it where it, where it got. Um, and uh, I actually, one year in between the time I graduated from college and started coaching, I worked one year for Ernst & Young accounting firm um, and quickly found out that public accounting and I did not uh, mesh very well. So. came down here, um, it's just obviously a beautiful college campus. Uh, when I pictured college when I was in high school, what it would look like, it was William & Mary that I pictured. Now I love the University of Rhode Island, I always will, it's always going to be in my blood, but when I came here, this is a totally different uh, atmosphere, and uh, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful place. Not that URI isn't, um, but this is a different kind of place, and I think when you, when you travel around to as many colleges and universities as we do in this profession, you get an opportunity to see the different college campuses and you know I put William and Mary up there against any in terms of its 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 overall beauty and then obviously having an opportunity as a baseball coach to work with highly intelligent student athletes um, baseball is a tremendously cerebral game and to be able to work with guys of this uh, intellect is has been a pleasure and, and it's it's nice to be able to go to sleep at night knowing my guys are going to be going to class the next day and not have to chase after them all the time I just think it's it's such a great laid back um, community driven area. Um, it's it's so it's such a peaceful place. It's such a uh, you know there's everything that you need is here, but at the same time it's not this uh, you know coming from the northeast it's not this constant uh, on the go mentality and this struggle to kind of uh, be anxious all the time. It's a very calm atmosphere and one that you can settle into and feel good and feel comfortable um, about your surroundings and you can be productive in your life. My favorite place to visit is Walt Disney World. I really love, uh, I don't know, just from a, my young age when I went there the first time and had an opportunity to be there, I just gravitate towards it. And I actually gravitate towards Busch Gardens now too. It must be an amusement park thing for me, but uh, I just love it. I love the place. I've gone there so many times. Um, and just to visit that, everyone's in a happy mood. There, no one is in a, a foul mood in the Magic Kingdom. Maybe a parent or two at the end of the day who's had enough of their whiny children, but um, for the most part, everyone has a smile on their face face and who can be who can be in anything but a great mood in, uh, in the Magic Kingdom. 
looking back, that without question, my number one person was my dad. Uh, my dad was not college educated and worked real hard to build a family business. We owned a restaurant um, growing up and he built that into a very, very successful business. Uh, restaurant business is not an easy business. Worked many hours, taught me the work ethic that I have today, taught me how to uh, have that dream and go for your dreams and, and never relent on what you really want in life. And then along the way I obviously had some coaching influences and some people that have helped me along the way in my coaching profession. I already spoke about Andy Baylock. Another gentleman that's uh, been a huge influence over my coaching career is Bob Wells. Um, legendary coach. Coached at Frostburg State in Maryland for years and I'm a URI alumnus and he reached out for me a long time ago and he's been a friend and a confidant ever since and uh, just a guy that, uh, that has really helped me out. So if I had to mention um, some people that have really been there, I, we'd be here all day. But my dad, would, without question, would be number one uh, on my list. You know, I, I, it's funny, I, I answered that question the other day. I think I lead a pretty uneventful life. I think I like to spend a lot of time with my family, um, whether it be just sitting by a pool, um, enjoying the hot Virginia weather, or um, just going to Bush Gardens, or just doing anything family oriented. Um, watch a lot of sports center. It's kind of like family and sports center for me is, is, is what I do, and everything else that the uh, William and Mary job presents. That's about it. That's the uneventful life I lead. The greatest challenge is that you work with some of the most remarkable student athletes. Um, in the country without question. There's such a challenging balance between academics and athletics here that um, the student athletes that you work with and the, the constraints that are placed on them, the challenge that I've faced is removing obstacles from their way. Not becoming another obstacle to them but creating a path for them to be successful. And the school is certainly um, set up to help them be very successful, but at the same time, they're not handing out the diplomas here. You have to work for it, and the obstacles are, are quite evident um, in the curriculum. So it's my job to try to help them, you know, navigate their way through. And I think that that's an an awesome challenge here, and it's one that I take on with uh, with a ton of responsibility. And I, I love it, you know, but uh, it's a heck of a challenge.